And we're back, ladies and gentlemen. Um, let's continue where we left off. I am Verstor, the Raging Gents, and let's get back into the evil, evil world of Metro 2033. Low less trash, because if you remember last time, we fell down a hole. We killed two gigantic mutant rat things, and then we fell down a hole. Yeah, I am so good at this game. Yes, have your flashlight turned on to see ghosts. Mmm. Let us know about something in the head there. So. Where you were before. Before we go any further, I'm going to charge up my flashlight. Now, I'm actually going to point something out this time before I get there. The stuff like these shell casings on the floor can give your position away. So you want to be careful around them. Dead rat. Stealth is a very important part of this game. You can see them turn the flashlight off. Take his ammo. They can smell me. Where the fuck did his body go? Fuck! Fuck! Oh, I hate these things. Come on. Suck it! I don't know why I'm using my shotgun because soon. Fuck! Ah. <laughs> I killed it. Hate these things. Oh god, I hate them. Ah, oh, that's so not nice. They have, they have human faces. What is wrong with your face? Oh. So as you can tell, I really enjoy this game. But that is both a good thing and a bad thing because, well. Got some bad news while I wasn't playing. Well, well, well while I was there, while I wasn't recording, even. This is a gun called Thar. It's an air powered rifle. Very, very useful in this game. Completely silent, high powered, and not a cheaty weapon. At least when compared to the Volt Driver, which is a Railgun version. Anyway, going back to my bad news. This game, the developers of this game, THQ, have gone under. Which means that the sequel to this game, Last Light, will probably never ever come, well, never come out. And this makes me a very sad individual indeed. Whereas the Metro, Metro games, Last Light looked impressive. That's all I really need to say. Now I hope that another developer picks it up. Let's pump this weapon up. Pressure up in it. Okay. Two, two ball bearings. All right. And very good. Anyway, Metro Twenty Thirty Next Metro again looked fantastic, but probably never going to come out. So we'll just have to enjoy this. I mean, like I said, I hope that they that they pick up the. Metro license, another developer picks it up and does a good job of it. Also, The Company of Heroes, another game which I really enjoy. Okay, we're getting up towards something. Pipe. Pipe like? Uh, no, train. Train! God, I'm out of practice for this stuff. Uh, da -da. Nothing in here. Dirt. Anything in here? Got ammo. Keep your eyes peeled. They won't let us pass freely. That's bandit style. System. Ancient, but quite efficient. If you want to arrive unexpected, try not to disturb the cans. Yeah, while you're doing that, I'm popping over here for a second. Because there's stuff over here, I'm sure of it. And stuff is important. Apparently nothing. Never hurts to be to be sure in this game. But yeah, these guys had a very bad day. Again, he's right. 
these sort of things. Ancient, but no less effective for that. Let's go back to the stealth thing, stealth part I mentioned earlier. Sneak over here. Pick up what ammo I can. Because this game is far from easy. And every little advantage you can get means you can survive. And in this mode, those those bandits when whatever else you fa Oh yes this. Have great senses of hearing. So you don't want to take any risks. Stealth is how you complete this game on these difficulties. Alright, Uncle Bowen, go to work. He is absolutely wankered. <laughs> yeah, I think I will. Thanks, bro. Right, what we got? You want, you want me to take down a patrol? Me? Alright, let's get... Oh! Shit! Shit, 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 This is gonna go bad very, very quickly. What? <laughs> no one. Uh, maybe. So yeah, they heard me just stepping on the glass there. That nearly gave me away. Yeah, these throwing knives, unbelievably useful in this game. You can stab with them very quickly and throw them if need be. Fuck. Yeah, they're, they're semi-alerted. What's happening? Huh. Quiet. <sighs> Got to be very careful. Oh, shit. A lamp! It's got a lamp! Shit! Oh, this game gives me a heart attack. The moment I pop my head out there to try and fight these guys, take it off a of gunfire. That's how it works. Alright. Fuck. It's all about maneuvering. Be careful. Yep, they know that something's happening. They don't know where I am yet, but... That's why I chose this. Because now they don't know where I am. They know I'm, they're losing men from this direction, but not entirely sure. Fuck. Yep, now they get an idea where I am. Alright, easy. Easy, easy bed. And this one is the... <sighs> yeah, the gun... So I'm playing... Uh, obviously I'm playing this in the hardest difficulty. So this is the way you have to play on the hardest difficulty. Because they will... murk your face. If you don't be unbelievably careful. Fuck. Oh! Got a helmet on. Alright. He's down. Don't want to step on that because I'll give my position away. The reason why I'm surviving them, they know that someone's after them. But they don't know where he is. And obviously that person is me! Fuck, 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 fuck. Yeah, they still see me. Right. 
right. Let's get some pressure bone this weapon. Highest push I can. Silent. Fuck. Saw me. Back up, back up, back up, back up, back up. Now they know where. Uh, now they. This gun is completely silent, but I'm already out of ammo for it. I've got to go back to my pistol. Some good kills, though. Give me the advantage I may need to make it through here alive in one go. Reload. Just take what ammo I can from them. How much shots? Six shots round. Shh. Yo, bro, don't be so mean. There's another one down. And then Bourbon comes up and says, Oh, well, you cleared them all. They're all dead. In that case, turn my light back on. Get some supplies from these dead bodies. Alright, do I actually have any throwing... Yep! Throwing knives are back. This is the Vault Driver. This is the broken gun I told you about. Which I have no interest in using in this playthrough. So it is just... Broken. Essentially, it's a, hand, it's a homemade railgun. That's what you get for trying to murder me. But asshole. But yeah. Managed to take them off pretty easily, pretty sneakily. They went alright. I mean, obviously, you try to fight all these guys on this difficulty, you're, you're going to have a bad time. How much ammo do I have left of this? I have five rounds. I oh, fuck, I'm getting loud. Right. Hmm. There's some grenades in here. Up very quickly. Can move forward a little bit now. Oh shit! Don't die, Artyom! Don't die! Don't die! Don't die! Fuck you! <laughs> yeah? Now how'd you like that, Bourbon? That's how you deal with it! Shit, though. Ah, oh, this game is unbelievably difficult on this mode. This is, this is, you know, relatively easy, easy territory. That could have been bad. Oh, lay down on the job. That's what you get. The problem with grenades is they do literally blow everybody's crap all over the place. Which is nice. It's nice that, you know, they're missing pieces of supplies, go flying. This is crafted. Well, this is how they knew they we were coming. Let's go look through there and keep an eye on us. Yeah. I'm onto your tricks. Onto your tricks. Yeah, Bobbin. Obviously a very scared guy in there. Uh, yeah, I guess we can go through there now. Alright, made it through that area safely. Our bloody skirmish with the bandits was over. I had expected mutants and monsters. 
But how many more of my fellow humans would try to kill me before I reached Polis? Well, that's the nature of post-apocalyptic world. Um, I have been Red Star of the Raging Gents. This has been Let's Play Metro 2033. Now, people have asked me why this is a Let's Rage. Well, the rage comes later. You will see. Until then, take care, everybody.